Now inside the processor, there are three major subpart. One is arithmetic and logic unit. Another is controller. Another is register file. We'll be looking at them separately in details, what they are and what, what's their functionality in a computing system. But in a brief, ALU is a main, main part, component of a processor. This is the heart of a processor, means it, it, it functions, uh, it function, it, it provides the fundamental function of a computing system, okay? It, it does give your all the arithmetic operation, like fundamental arithmetic operation, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. It can perform logic operation, like Boolean and Boolean or Boolean not, etc., etc. And the the any complex software you write, any complex software you use, like like maybe a gaming software or maybe a movie watching software or social networking software or search engine or internet exploring, browsing, anything you can think of. A bottom line is that every software program is nothing but a series of arithmetic and logic operation. It is nothing more, nothing less. At the machine level, everything boils down to some amount of arithmetic or logic operation, okay? Uh, in fact, later in the class, you will see there is nothing specific about arithmetic operation. Inside a processor, everything is about logic, okay? Processor performs everything like through logic. There is no nothing like a fundamental addition, uh, addition uh, operation that happened inside a processor. Addition operation even broken down into the logical steps. We'll, we'll see that. But for time being, let's assume this ALU performs all the arithmetic and logic operation that is needed to compute or crunch certain information. Okay. Register file is, uh, you can say this is a very small amount of memory resides inside the processor, apart from the external memories. Why they are there? Because they're really, really fast compared to the memory system and they're used to store temporary data. You can think of this as like a scratch pad. Okay, scratch pad or scratch paper used in the exam hall, like look at a question, do some rough work on a scratch work on a scratch paper and to get the final answer and stuff like that. So this is also, you can treat that these are the scratch paper uh, for a processor. So any intermediate result, very temporary result are stored in the register file and retrieved back and forth uh, for crunching the numbers. And the next component is a controller. This is the whole brain of the computer. So what it does, it basically synchronizes the operation between ALU, register file, and the memory. So your program, your software, as I said, that this is a bunch of like arithmetic and logic operation sequence and this guy controls that sequence. Okay, your, it follows through your program logic and controls those operation and bring in this component in function as needed. Okay, so this is basically, basically one of the main part. Uh, I would say this is kind of a, you can analogy, analogy towards the human brain. This is, this actually understand your program and engage these other component to go through and process your program systematically. There is one small system which we don't often talk about. This is called, this is the clock system. Okay. It produces an, a series of logical zeros and one zeros and one forever. Like, and this signal is very repetitive signal on a, on a specific time period, it repeats the value itself. Now this system is very much essential to the entire computing system 
and provides these signals 0 and 1 tick tock you can see in the other word to the memory and the processor they are kind of a heartbeat to the whole computing system okay controller synchronizes operation between the memories alu and register file using reference to these clock ticks okay to the clock peers is up edge and down edge etc etc we'll we'll see a little bit detail in the clock system as well in the successive lectures but um, point is that this is kind of an analogous to our heartbeat it it gives and sends heartbeat to the whole system and based on what controller synchronizes the operation between all other components memory alu and register file so in a nut nutshell we are going to look at four uh, five major components in a computing system memory alu controller register file and clock system this three subsystem alu controller register file com uh, made up the processor the processor what we call in the system in the cpu we have seen it earlier and the memory stays separate from a processor but they are they are very important part of a computing system and clock system gives the heartbeat to the whole entire computing system so that's all for this first lecture and we'll see you in the next lecture